What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. As you guys go out to get your iPads or your brand new iPad 3Gs, chances are you're going to want to protect your significant investment. You may have seen the Apple case and figure it's made by Apple. They know their device. Chances are they know the best way to protect it. Well, if like me you assumed that, you would be very, very incorrect. This $40 investment offers very little in the way of protection, but it does offer a bit of utility. So let me go ahead and give you the rundown. Here is the box that it comes in. You may have seen me unbox it when I initially got my iPad on launch day. So here is a case. It's made of almost a rubber feeling microfiber material. It's got the Apple logo on top. It's got a crease on the side, which I'll show you why that is there in a minute. Uh, the front of it feels like it's got a probably a thin layer of cardboard in there. Uh, there's no cushioning. It's just sort of a hard piece. It doesn't offer that much protection if you were to say drop it or if you're putting it in a bag and there's a lot of things that are hitting it here, it uh, could very easily still push and you can see I'm depressing it uh, very easily. It's got a bit of a flap and I'll show you why in a minute. On the back, uh, there really is nothing. It's just sort of that material and a stand, which I will demonstrate the purpose of that. Um, the back really offers nothing. A pencil or anything that's relatively sharp could very easily pierce that. And again, if it was in a bag and you had books sort of hitting up against it, this would offer no protection for the back of your device. So here's how the official iPad case works. I'm going to go ahead and take my iPad and slide it right in. It goes in pretty easily. It can be a bit harder to get out, though. Go ahead and just push it right on in. Take this flap that we just saw, push it right in to protect the side of the device since there are no buttons there. Slide it on in and now you have your iPad in the Apple iPad case. You still have access to all your ports, the speakers, volume, the screen rotation lock right there, the lock button and power button, and of course the headset. So when you walk around with it, it doesn't really offer Again, that much protection, but also doesn't offer that much uh, bulk as well, which is nice if you're putting in a bag. You're not going to get a lot of sort of extra profile to it. So let me go ahead and show you some things that it does, and you can see whether or not you think it's worth it uh, for you. If you're looking for pure protection, this is definitely not the best investment. Like I said, this is really all there is to protect your device. Uh, certainly to protect the screen a little bit, but not that much. So you can use this a few ways. You can go ahead and take the iPad, push the front of it right under that little lock protector, and you can go ahead and sort of prop it up a little bit. Now this is useful for watching some movies or even for typing. If you're in class and you want to use a keyboard, it offers a very nice angle uh, for typing. It actually makes it a lot easier. This is one of the things that I do like about the iPad case. You can see the angle right there. It's not that much, it's a few degrees, uh, but it does offer you know a little bit of utility. Uh, you can also prop it straight up if you'd like, although I know it's not so stable. I don't know if I would recommend it all that much, but if you want to watch a movie in, uh, let's say you don't want to go in landscape, you want to watch it in portrait, uh, this will sort of do the job, although a bit on the wobbly side. wouldn't necessarily uh, recommend it. So overall, if you're looking for something that will help prop the case and you want sort of the official Apple thing, uh, this is your only option. However, you can take your 40 bucks and wrap your iPad in some bubble wrap and it'll be much better protected and uh, you'll save some money because this really does nothing uh, in the way of protection. It looks nice, it doesn't offer that much bulk, but that is really about the extent of it. I think you're much better off looking elsewhere uh, for iPad cases, most of which offer the same sort of functionality of the propping up of the screen that you can use um, really with any of them. So guys, hope you enjoy this quick overview of the iPad case. And hopefully I saved you 40 bucks, where unfortunately, I went and wasted mine. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.